Pollock, Van Gogh, Picasso, Monet, Da Vinci, Warhol, Dali. These names loom massive over the art historical canon, but where are the women? A few have made the art historical canon recently, like Frida Kahlo and Georgia O'Keeffe. But what about the others? In this video, we will look at four lesser known female artists who have made massive steps in their artistic practices and deserve to be recognized. The first is Harriet Powers. Born a slave near Athens, Georgia in 1837, she made this original quilt considered among the finest examples of 19th century Southern quilting around 1886. She displayed it at a local fair where it was seen by a local artist who ended up purchasing it for a low sum some years later, when Powers and her husband fell on hard times. The only other quilt known to be made by Powers is this stunning pictorial quilt. Both exhibit an incredible ingenuity and simplicity in a time when almost all quilts were using established patterns and expressions. The second is Tina Blau. Tina Blau was a Jewish painter from Austria who, with the helpful influence of her father, was able to work in a studio and maintain an art practice at a time when women were not seen as able to create work apart from male instruction. She painted landscapes in a vividly new way, depicting light and air differently than all her male counterparts. She is said to be one of the first to revolutionize color in landscapes. Hilma Alf Klimt Born in 1862 to a middle-class family in Sweden, Hilma F. Klint was a pioneer of abstract action painting before the names like Pollock, Malevich, and Kandinsky. Between 1906 and 1915, she made 193 groundbreaking spiritualist abstract paintings, many of which she stipulated were not to be shown publicly until 20 years after her death. She seemed to know the public consciousness was not ready for her work, which was unabashedly symbolic, scientific, and spiritual. Alma Thomas was born in Georgia in 1891. She taught art for 38 years before she came into her own expression in her 70s. Thomas is a brilliant colorist and expressionist painter whose work resembles colorful mosaics. She was the first African-American woman to exhibit solo at the Whitney Museum of American Art, a show just six years before she died. These four artists are only a few examples of some of the revolutionary work women have pioneered through the centuries. It is important to remember that while most of the artists we hear about in art history are male, that doesn't mean there weren't women making huge strides in their own right, even if they were not recognized for their achievements at the time. As we collectively revisit the art historical canon, we need to take the contributions of these women and others seriously and give them the credit they deserve.